Good morning, guys. How are you? We just woke up and we're ready to get cracking on our day three. This is day three. So we stayed at Ivanhoe last night. It was the it was the titties. Hey, it was actually so good. I slept. I slept for more than three hours. Actually, got like seven hours in, which is nice. Um, okay, so now I'm just gonna pack up some stuff. Doing the standard standard thing. There's um you know doing the last final charges. And then I was going to tighten up my chain because my chain's brand new. And then, and then we're going to get some breakfast. And then we've only got like a three hour ride or something to Mungo. So we, it's, it's a relaxing day. Yes. And then we're just going to enjoy the beauty that is Mungo National Park. Uh, all right, so I'm going to just clean my stuff up, do the final charges, get sorted, get packed, and then um, I'll see you on the road. That don't make sense. Also, shout out to Scram Moto Eyewear. I've worn these for like a Contact. year. Yeah, since November 2019. You know, the shatterproof man. If you don't want to get glass in your eye, if it rockets it, Scram, baby. Scram. Yo, Scram, boys. Yeah, you might walk. <laughs> yes! <laughs> man, this place is. It's so funny. It's this literally like, there's one car, and there's a guy filling up. Oh, there's a truck. <laughs> I was about to like, just walk out. Okay, so there's a fair bit going on here. Um, good city, good town. I like it. I haven't heard. I'll be here again for sure. Draw! Yeah, I don't have any maps on or anything. It's all you Yeah, do. I don't either. We're just going to go off road. Yeah. Uh, let's run home, boy. Of course. You can't start the day without a pound, baby. How am I looking luggage-wise? Good? Yeah, you're fine. You just got one little strap dangling, but it's nowhere near anything. Which one is it? The orange one? It's, yeah, the orange left one, yeah. Alright. Alright, you want to overtake me so I can take a look at you? Look my body. Mainly the, um, the water bag. Yeah, no, it's heaps of clearance. Cool, your right side, your pillion pegs are down, you know that? Yeah, I want them down, yeah. You can put your legs back on the pillions, your feet back, and just have a little oh, really? stretch while you're riding, yeah. Perfect. Uh, let's go, Brizzy. Let's do this. And the boys were back on and riding, baby. Two hours of this leg until we hit the Mungo National Park turn off. In the meantime, Nick had some things to say. What you want to be doing here is not just riding. You want to be scanning everything, looking at least 100 meters ahead. Watch on the sides, is anything gonna pop out? Is there an animal laying down? Is there roadkill? And in this scenario, which I hate, I hate it, crack that out, Rob. Snakes, do not like snakes. Snakes tend to sit on the hot concrete and tan and warm their butt up, especially in the mornings after a long night. So that's why you don't really wanna leave first thing in the morning because they're gonna be on the roads. So right now it's about midday. They should have been, most of them already scooted off and crossed the road, hopefully or you're going to hear me scream like a little girl. Yeah, Rob sees something. He saw something moving, right? We saw that on the cam on the right side. That's why we run this stagger, because Rob saw that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be vigilant on my right side there. Rob's going to prop up, and so will I. We're watching the right side, because we saw on the right. I'm going to hop over to the left lane right now. I'm going to stagger the middle. What I'm also going to do is I'm also going to gear down if I need to accelerate out of a situation very quickly. Yeah, Rob Spotto. Rob Spotto. Yeah, really sharp here. Big eyes, big eyes. Emus. Yep. Look at that. Emus running. Wow. Look at these boys hollering it out. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, the boys. The boys are in midday. It's time to get a pump feed. Get the chicken shitty on the four X's. Woo! Not a lot happened on this leg. A couple of emus. Some roadkill. 
extremely hot so conditions. Hot. Oh yeah, our phones are overheated. This is Australia. Ha -ha. Couple of stragglers. You good? Yeah. You good? Some that's weird true. red crap on the road. Surely that's not black. That was really dark red back there. That's odd. Nick just gave me the indication that's 15 k's to go. Then this. This is the it. Ah, 97 k's. Dude, what? What? No. No. A year for real? A year for real? As in detour to back to the dirt road? Like three hours earlier? <laughs> I wonder why it's closed. That's, that's what I wonder too. Yeah, far out man. Well, let's discuss. So yeah, look at it, is this grid? So it's this, like, this leg right here. That's closed. Yes. No, yeah, this is it. We we started here. We we started here. Yeah, sure. We've covered distance. Yeah. So either we risk it. How much fuel do you have? I'm just just below half. Two DT. One's like one sixty. Oh, ninety. You you think you can cut back and then do that? Mm. Is that what you want? Well, mate, like, I oh, mean, I'd love to just pin it through here. But like, why is it closed? Yeah, I don't, yeah. Like, does it just turn to dirt again? Like, well, why would it? Well, that matter unless it's fully closed because they're fully tiring it or something like who knows is there like a traversal but hey we're on bikes it's different you know yeah I, mean? I know but then if you have to turn around then that's getting pretty scary these flies are just insane you can hear them buzzing hey look at them all there's like a trillion oh. it was either we go back the way we came risk our fuel and our time or we leave it up to fate to decide the plane is send it and we go there and the queen is never lasting immortal life right. it is the queen baby <sighs> wow i know you're not superstitious but i have two times for the to confirm the reality and now it's the plane it's always best out of three <laughs> it's a plane Ah! <laughs> I don't know. Far out. I know these flies are just, just. Yes! Look at them go! They're just pinning it. They're so quick. Holy crap! Okay, back to the task at hand. So we should only have a few k's to go. Look at all the lights on my dash. Hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's all good. The traction ABS is off. And low fuel. But that'll good. That'll good. I mean, like we gotta get better riding in sand because apparently going all the way to Cam's Corner, it's just it's full on sand. So we gotta get comfy with it. Gotta get acclimatized, become friends with it. Not to be afraid of it, but to embrace it. Yep. Portion rotten water. Oh, hectic. Dead bees. Oh. Ah. <laughs> oh well eh? 50 k's to Mungo. I got like 57 range. Perfect. And then it's like 70 from Mungo to the next server, which is in Poot Kerry. Notice a difference in your chain or anything? Mm. Like just with changing gears? Not really. Well that was a bloody waste of time, wasn't it? <laughs> no. No, no, I'm only joking. That was a joke. That was a joke. Stay going. I just keep imagining like, imagine if we did this last night. <laughs> After being as wrecked as we were, like wow, that would have we would have gotten here at like bloody midnight, man. Down to one bar of fuel as well, so I could just run out. How would you say that word? Um, so man, I almost fully got like heat stroke. Hey, holy crap! I'm still just like days just we both ran out of water in our bottles but we had the big <coughs> the big boy I just wanted to get here and man I started seeing <coughs> just like you know that feeling man just got here smashed my face in the bathroom just cold water put the water out out of the bag and just did the thing 
Man, I saw my face in the mirror though, and it was just like, oh, just so gaunt, hey. It just happened so quick, just like that. Full on, just heat stroke. Oh, man. It's feel like. And then we just got hit with this lady was just saying if you don't if you haven't made a booking, which we haven't, I didn't know this was a place to make a booking, then you're out of luck. <laughs> but it's like the time and <clears throat> like bad luck man, we've got to camp somewhere. Like it has to be around here, we're not going anywhere else. Not with the amount of light we have left. And not with the the energy I have right now. We just ride back a little bit where we came from and um Oh man my god my pain's gone on Um just like camp out is literally like man it's like, like come on we can camp anywhere Like are you serious? Just uh, an experience And there was pin out on the dirt man oh, all the batteries just ran out I was dying of heat, I couldn't even be stuffed to change the batteries, I knew it was coming on. This is getting so hot, man. I just pinned it. But we're here. Mongo National Park, baby. This is it. Like something, sussing something out. Let's go get him to talk to the people with his American Canadian accent. And just be like, Hey, I'm from Can Canada, I don't know I don't know anything. Just put us in a place, we'll camp anywhere. See? Sack. How did we get here, first of all? Update, uh, still feeling woozy, but feeling way better because the lovely cleaner in there helped us out and just logged us, just got us bloody passes. Car, I'm just, okay, okay. On top of that, I told us there's a lodge and there's beers there. Are you serious? And a feed. So and we a don't feed. Even need packages. I thought, I literally thought that this was going to be like, like, but <laughs> nowhere. Like, how, how wrong? Don't listen to Rob. <laughs> Far out, I'm just so stoked. Hey, let's get this, let's get this cracking. Sunset, good sun's gonna be in about an hour. Started feeling much better at this point. We had a campsite, we're pinning it back there now. Oh, look at this though, this is sick. This is actually so cool. It's Friday night, <laughs> everyone's out. There's a whole school camp thing. Yeah, look at all the tents there. Ugh. Ugh. The one that has the, the fire pit? Yeah. That one, yeah, cool, cool. It's gonna cool, cool. Uh, we did it because this is stuff. It's like, ah, I want some peace, man. I'm 34, getting old. I wanna chill out with some nice Quiet relaxing. Down. I don't wanna deal with that crap. I'm just that guy, hey. Shut up, kids. We moved a table and we set up camp. Camp set. Time to go for a mad little explore before the sun's down for good. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna check this place out. Hey? Should I have zipped my tent down? Oh, it's up to you. I just got heaps of shit in there. God damn it, Rob. Hey. Ho ho! Ho! Grab him! Set, baby. I haven't been able to crack it in some time now. Oh. Yeah, your boy is good. Jesus Woo! Christ, scared the shit out of me. Yeah, baby. That Triumph 1050 triple. Woo! This is pretty spectacular.
How incredible is this man? What is what is this? Man. Holy crap. I just have a I just have a bit by myself here because fuck this is I had to take some time out. This was one of the most spectacular sunsets I've ever witnessed in my life. It was overwhelming. I couldn't believe that we were there. Like, what is this, man? This is crazy. Traveled this distance, we're in the heart of New South Wales. Ah, uh, it's just, oh man, it's a crazy, it's so ridiculously beautiful. Right? And I was witnessing <laughs> this natural beauty. Ah, uh, me, what the hell? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's like I just can't look at it. It's uh... just being away from everybody. Just being completely isolated, no phone reception. Like, where the hell are we, bro? This is insane. It just blows my mind. And then just this. And I just felt intense presence. I felt the connection with the earth that I haven't felt in such a long time. And it was emotional. It was an emotional experience. Where are we going? Mil Mildura today. Mildura, oh. then Broken Hill. It's just that never ending thing of unpack, set up, and then have a bit of fun, and then wake up, pack up, leave. And that's pretty much all of our time taken up. <laughs> it's the way it goes, baby. Um, so I'm gonna keep getting ready because we're gonna bounce. We're gonna bounce. That sun is already starting to get hot. Damn you, sun. I just want like one cool day, one nice cool day. How was your first night camping? Is this, it was Nick's first night camping. Like, are you serious? How good's that? Oh, in Australia. Hang on, where is he? There he is. There you go. How are these kangaroos, man? They're just been cruising around here all the time. Look at right there. Yeah. That is massive. They were literally like behind the bike this year before. That's sick. Yeah. Hey guys, if you want, if you want a test ride at Street Scrambler or the Tiger 1050, let me get my business card. <laughs> Pop down to Sydney. Hey, no obligation. Just come by, take that. Man, I'll make you a coffee. Do you like it with one kangaroo milk or two? Uh, <laughs> oh! I think you lost them. They're really down there. They to get. always come back to me, baby. They always come back. Good sleep? I just slept. Yeah, good boy. A little bit of rolly rolly, but. Yeah, man, you, you just you, you sleep so fast. <laughs> You're the quickest sleeper. I literally hear. I hear pss, pss, rolly rolly rolly. <laughs> Like instantly, <laughs> and I'm just there, they're just like, how, how? Now we would have loved to have stayed in Mungo for a little bit longer, checked out the sites, go for the mad ride around the whole national park. If you haven't been there and you want to go, check it out. It is absolutely stunning. Nick was running out of fuel as it was, and we were running out of time as well. And we had a massive day of riding ahead of us, which started with our favorite 80 kilometers of sandy, sandy dirt road. Ah. Oh, it's close. Fly just almost smacked me in the face. We just hit a whole bunch of sand. Like, look, look how sandy this crap is. The bikes is floating everywhere. It's just literally swaying everywhere. It's as soon as you get. Go 
Yeah, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just that all the time. Just correcting. Just gonna power through, trying to find some sweet spots, but there's a lot of sand. We finally made it to the tarmac and we smashed it straight to Mildura. But before that, Nick wanted to stop for an orange. It's pretty good. Which was actually incredible. <laughs> uh, we made it just out of Mildura, so we're on the border of Victoria and New South Wales. Obviously the borders are closed, can't get through, so we can't actually go to Mildura, which sort of sucks. But it's all good, we just filled up. Nick literally had 10 Ks to go on his range. That's ridiculous. I had half a tank still. Cutting it pretty fine. Just had a feed, filled up, put in some air in our tyres now. And then we're going to pin it to Broken Hill, 287 Ks. So we've got a couple of stops in between there still. Uh, feeling better. I was feeling a little bit, uh, just, a, just a bit, a bit sapped. Hey, 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 hello. Are they the people? Are they the people? Hey, are they the people? I don't know if they're the people. I don't know who they were. <laughs> but yeah, man, chugging on, chugging along, chugging, chugging, chugging. Mike's doing fantastic. Nothing, no, no crazy things happening yet. We both had some scary little wobbles. Uh, but man, bike's performing sick. Just, just very dirty. That's all. Sick there, man. You. Like, look at that flat tire. I need to get this thing back on the road, change the tube, change the tires. I've got the new Pirelli Rally STRs just sitting in the back there. Get them on, get this thing looking back schmick, how it used to look, and then blast the crap out of it and get some awesome soap in there and chain cleaner and just... So at this point we're traveling nicely, we're just cruising. All we have to do is pin it 287 kilometers from Mildura up to Broken Hill. The temperature had cooled down by the time we got to Mildura, but it cranked back up again as soon as we started pinning it through mid New South Wales up to Broken Hill. But it was nice and cruisy, we had nothing to worry about. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, it's got a bit windy. Oh, man. It pushes the bike around, it just throws her out. It was at this point I realised that we could be in a bit of trouble. Due to the high winds, the high wind resistance, my bike's range just dropped substantially. So we had to devise a new plan that'll get me through the next hour that we had to travel to Broken Hill. Okay, so my fuel lights come on. We've got 59 Ks in the range, 73 kilometers on Google Maps. I'm now trying to slipstream a little bit behind me to see if that helps any, because it is, it is windy. March, we're doing good. So we're 38 range, 42 Google Maps. It's like, as long as we keep doing this, we're like, I'll make it. I'll definitely make it. My neck's get pretty sore holding it down, but I'm just trying to be as aerodynamic as possible. But one bar of fuel, 37 Ks, 34 range, three Ks, yes. It's dropping down. My right arm's getting sore, sorry guys. Blind you for a bit. I was sitting as low as I could behind the windshield, but for an hour and after riding for the amount that we have. The wrist really starts getting stiff. My neck's getting really tired. But we're getting there. Things were really looking up. We're on 27. Oh, 27, 27! We've zeroed it! The range was starting to match the distance that we had to travel, which was incredible. But then I noticed something on the horizon. Look at this dust storm. We're getting right into a dust storm now. I've got 16 kilometers range. We're 16 k's out. The closer we got to Broken Hill, the windier it got. And due to those strong headwinds, my range started to drop real fast. Five kilometers, eight and a half k's away. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, five. Holy crap, four kilometers, 7.3 k's out. Two. One. Just, here we go, that's me, that's me, I'm done. I'm out, out of fuel. And that was it, I was out. The tank was bone dry, zero, nil, zilch. I had absolutely nothing left and the bike was just coasting along until I found a safe spot to just park it. I'm just gonna go out there.
I'm done. That's me, baby. Guys, you are never gonna believe how close I was to the petrol station. Nick took my fuel tank, he went, he came back within like five minutes, man. I was two and a half Ks out. Two and a half. If it wasn't for that crazy dust storm, we totally would have made it. So if you wanna save some fuel, make sure you just sit behind a bigger guy on a bigger bike. It'll get you where you need to be. So we filled the tank up and just made our way to our comm, which was absolutely incredible. I think he's the ass, you know? There it is guys, day four. We're in the backyard tour, completed. Still got 10 to go. I can't believe how much can happen in just a short amount of time. Picking up all these little experiences along the way. Seeing how large our backyard actually is, is absolutely mind blowing. The journey isn't over yet, and the darkest days are yet to come. <laughs> Closed one wet. Oh no! Rob went down. You good, bro? Set up. Far out, mate. I was saying Australia does one thing, one thing well, and that's called road signs. <laughs>